Well, we've all heard about the trend of bring your own device or the consumerization of IT and the security headaches this can cause IT departments. But rather than a threat, my next guest says this offers organizations an opportunity, especially when it comes to building your own app store. Rhys Evans from Thomas Derea joins me from the Sky News Business Center to tell us more. Rhys, thanks for coming on the show today. Let's talk about BYOD first. Everyone I talk to says it's a huge problem. You're seeing the other side of the coin. Look, really, we don't see BYO as being a massive problem. It's really a great opportunity for businesses to uh, help their employees more in a few ways. Number one, we can help reduce some costs in corporate assets. Number two, we can really help those employees be more productive either on the road, outside of the office or in more places. And we can really help drive uh, their satisfaction at the workplace by letting them use the device they feel most comfortable with day to day. So let's think about this. Uh, an, an average organisation has a number of employees that are bringing all these devices to work. They've got them in their hands. Why would I want to undertake the time and expense of, of building my own app store? It's really to help the employees in their day-to-day -day business. So we're seeing these employees bringing the devices in and trying to figure out the best way to make them work. If the business can spend some time figuring out how to really enable these users, such as Salesforce having access to the CRM system on the road or the ability for people to make orders from wherever they are, you can really help push more and more productivity into those users' hands and out to the broader market for your customers. Well, let's just clarify this, because some organizations have decided to build their own apps and launch those through the, the uh, Apple's iStore, for example, or App Store, sorry, but you're actually saying they should go a step further and build their own um, App Store themselves. Why take that additional step? Why not just build the apps and, and push them out through existing platforms? There's a, a big difference between the public app store and the private app store. Obviously, Apple have a very strict set of guidelines in the way they, they do things. Um, and you can definitely publish applications out there, but they're generally for the wider market and for some of your consumers of your business applications in, in terms of personal users. To develop uh, businesses, applications for your business, you can very specifically create them. They're no longer structured by Apple's very rigid system for reviewing applications, and you can do quite a bit more with them. For instance, if you have a customised CRM platform, you can make a very customised application to help your users, or expense reporting, or agenda, or meeting-based style system. So there's a lot of possibility in the private app store market. How much is this going to cost a small to medium business to go out there and actually undertake all that effort of designing and building an app store, is it an expensive proposition? Not at all these days. Uh, with, with obviously the growth in the, in the cloud market, there are plenty of providers out there offering cloud-based private app stores uh, hosted in Australia and overseas for you know, a few dollars a month per user, um, having the ability to publish applications and different services along with application discovery services to those users. So we're really finding that cost is not a, a bottleneck. It's sitting down with the business and discovering what are the best services we can publish to those users. Now, as you're talking, Riz, we're playing some footage in, in, in the background there of iPhones, Android phones, uh, Windows uh, devices, Blackberries, and that represents maybe a typical organizational profile. Not everyone has the same device. How do you overcome the challenge of multiple platforms? What do you design for? So when we discuss with our customers in the, the larger market, we're really talking about device, devices not being the, the problem. It's the services we're delivering. So we're really looking at HTML5 and web-based applications, which have come a long way from where they were, which are very much device agnostic. So no matter what uh, platform Apple produce you know, next week at their developer conference, or if uh, Samsung produce a new device, we will have a web application available that is almost guaranteed to work on all those platforms. Now, a lot of people have written off Microsoft and Windows as well. I'm not so sure about that. I think that many organizations, the majority, still use that operating system. And when Windows 8 comes out, are we going to see a, a huge opportunity for business and for Microsoft with many organizations jumping onto that platform and designing apps and app stores that work in a Windows environment? It's going to be a very interesting time. As you may have seen, uh, Microsoft are producing their own uh, public app store to rival that of Apple's, and they are producing the software to build internal app stores for regular PCs. Um, 
it's going to be a big shift in the way things are happening. At the moment, if you've seen Windows 8, obviously it's a very different experience with Metro. Um, the key thing we're worried about is cost of acquiring these devices. Uh, Computer X is on over right now in America, showing off some of the brand new hardware that will ship with Windows 8. And the price points are sitting just above the iPad style hardware out there. So apps may be coming out, but we're not sure if the hardware is going to be at the right, right price point for people to really adopt. Okay, and Reese, lastly, a number of companies don't necessarily have a Greenfields opportunity. They have existing technologies they have to work with. How can they build an app store and, and take advantage of this trend while at the same time not wanting to throw away investments they've already made in technology? So we're definitely recommending to all our customers, they start speaking to their providers of software and services to really start looking what mobile versions of applications they have available that can plug directly into their stack. Uh, no one really wants to go out and replace their entire CRM or sales system. So again, most vendors these days do have applications available that are quite cheap and easy to use. Okay, Reese, got to go. Thanks for your time today. Thank you very much.